Gary Johnson here, and welcome to Fresh Manna. The word of the Lord for today comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 5, verse number 20. And they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them. For they cried unto God in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. Now the sons of Reuben, they numbered at this time 44,760 men who are described as skillful and valiant warriors. Yet when they went to war against the enemy, you don't see them trusting in, relying upon, or leaning to their own abilities. No, they put their trust for the victory in the Lord, and they asked the Lord to help them. I like Proverbs chapter 3, beginning at verse number 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. Now, he doesn't say don't use your understanding. You just don't lean to it as the number one way that you're going to make your decisions. You trust in the Lord, and he goes on to say, In all your ways, big or small, in all your ways, your spiritual ways, your natural ways, your business ways, your family ways, in all your ways, you acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. So they asked the Lord to trust, to help him, and he did. He came through. I like Psalms 22, beginning at verse number four in the contemporary English version. It says, our ancestors trusted you and you rescued them. When they cried out to help, you saved them, and you did not let them down when they depended on you. When they put their trust in God and they depended on the Lord, he never let them down. Now, this is a good habit, trusting in the Lord, depending on the Lord. This is a good habit for you and I to implement in our lives as well. Before you do anything, before you start your day, before you make that phone call, before you make any decision, even if it's something that you think you can handle, even if you think it's no big deal, in all your ways, big or small, you acknowledge your need for him. Because I assure you, you do need him. And if you acknowledge your need for him, and you trust him, and you depend upon him, then he will prosper your path in Jesus' name.